and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. What's on everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And I'm going to go over kind of what you should be expecting, how to prepare, and some new content that will be coming out in the very near future. Now, we have two big promos. Make it three, technically, but the third one we're going to go over on a separate video today. So, disregard that one. There will be golden tickets. We will be going over that in our 1030 video. So, you should have seen that already today because there will be information announced on today's stream. So, that video you should have seen already, but this video will be regarding the next two big promos. Golden ticket really isn't like a promo. It's kind of just like a content. Not even what I call it. It's a card drop. It's an overpowered card drop. It's not like a big promo with like from solos or anything. It could be, but I don't think they're gonna do it that way. It's gonna be more like Mutt 10. But these, on the other hand, will actually be two promos that will be a little bit bigger, will last some sort of duration of time. Now, these two promos are going to be the Path to the Draft promo and the Easter promo. Now, guys, had we done this last year, the Easter, uh, the Path to the Draft promo would have dropped, I believe, like today or yesterday. It did drop at the end of March, the very end of March, leading up to the draft. Now, I don't know what the whole COVID-19 and the whole stuff going on with that, if that's going to delay the draft or if that could be reasoning why they haven't dropped the thing yet because I don't know if the draft will be delayed. But the initial drop to Pat to the Draft does not involve the actual players being drafted this year, which is why I don't think it should be delayed that much because these players are going to be based around actual real life players that have been drafted in the past. So Pat to the Draft usually consists of people who have been drafted in the past and people who will be drafted this upcoming year. So the first drop last year was early round master, late round master, and they should have done like a middle round master, which would be guys like Tom Brady who were drafted late, like in the sixth round, guys like Cam Newton who were drafted first round first overall, and they dropped guys like who in the past have been drafted at certain slots in, in the draft. So that, that's a pretty cool start. And then we're going to go over the Easter promo, which pretty much just, it's pretty simplistic. There's no, there's no rhyme or reason to who the players they pick, but they do pick players. They're typically 99 overalls. LTDs, it was called the Color Smash promo last year for all you guys who might not know, like eggs, Color Smash, maybe we get an egg currency, could be really cool, but guys, before we get into the video, make sure you're down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that on bell, boys, come join the family, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up as always, and make sure to comment down below if you guys need any help, and smash that like button. Now, I'm going to take you guys over to everything to show you guys, Pat to the drop, and each, by the way, Easter would have dropped like a week from now, which we're, I'm predicting will be next Friday potentially. But until past of the draft drops, we really don't know. But I'm going to head on over to the screenshots and some of the information to show you guys kind of an overview of this promo. For any of you guys who did play last year, you do know the path to the draft promo was split up into multiple parts. It was pre-draft, current draft, and then a little bit of post-draft and stuff with getting cards and finally them releasing the actual picks you guys had. Now, this promo was pretty cool. Now, as you guys can see here, Kyler Murray was the top card in the promo based on this. But he was a current draft player. So you only got this after he was actually drafted as the first overall pick. And the first overall pick, of course, did have the highest overall of the bunch. Then Miles Garrett is a past master, but he was an early round master. His promo was split into early round masters and late round masters and undrafted masters. Now, they did neglect the middle rounds, which did kind of suck because, you, you know, you would think that they'd be like a guy like, what about Russell Wilson? Third round guy, kind of an underdog. Made a, The middle round guys were awesome, but they didn't really... Do that, which would have been cool because we got, you know, Russell Wilson Hall of Fame pace would have been an awesome mobile quarterback as one of the masters. But maybe they do it this year based on the people who gave feedback last year on it. I'm not entirely sure just yet, but Marshawn Lynch, early round master. Stephon Diggs, late round master. You can see right here on the screen. I can't really get to it with the master. You can see right there under their stats, it says it. Chris Harris was the undrafted. Tom Brady's the late round. Chuck Vanderick, early round. Telvin Smith, late round. Cam Newton, early round. Keyshawn Johnson, early round. Bruce Smith, early round and so on and so forth to get to the point then there's a bunch of the modern day uh, players that just got drafted like devin white cleveland farrell nick bosa quinn and williams adam and terry's undrafted antonio gates undrafted jason peters is a free agent undrafted rashad jones is a late and rick wagner was a late round pick now as you guys can see overall those are just the top guys 99s ton of 99s last year so we could be expecting a pretty good influx of 99s from this unless they keep it to 98 to preserve longevity of this game because as you guys do know you might have to always take the overalls back a notch because madden's been trying to increase the longevity of this game and by doing so they have decreased overall like progression throughout the year which has kind of been a common theme which i have nothing wrong with it as long as it matches up evenly not like you know like we have not we haven't gotten 99 yet we only have Mahomes. we probably should have gotten at least one more by now still waiting on that one but as you guys see, based on last year's stats, Kyler Murray would be probably the best quarterback in Madden right now. Powered up and chemmed up with these stats, he ended up with like a 98 speed, 99 throw power, 99 throw deep, uh, 99 throw short, 94 throw mid, 99 throw on the run, 99 throw under pressure. Card would have been absolutely insane right now. Uh, Tom Brady would be a little bit better than his current card. As you guys can see his stats right there. Guys like Cam Newton wouldn't have been that great because he's still too slow compared to like our Lamar Jackson and our Randall Cunningham's. Although he's pretty great at some other things. Keyshawn Johnson powered and chemmed up would probably be the best wide receiver in Madden right now. He'd have almost all his route running 99, all his catching 99. 
He's jumping at 9 to speed like a 98. Will be super insane. This would be pretty much the perfect receiver at this point, Madden. Like I said, I think these might be a little too OP for what we're used to right now. So it might be slightly ticked down. So do expect that. But overall, the path to the draft is pretty cool. Like I said, it could be delayed depending on the real life draft. If they do end up delaying the real life draft for COVID-19 concerns, it is possible that they delay the path to the draft, which is why maybe they haven't even hinted at it yet because they're just not sure when they're going to go about dropping this because Pat, if, if in reality the draft's pretty soon last year it would have been dropped i believe like today or yesterday last year would have been at least so that does imply that it should be dropping this week but i'd have to say friday it's kind of like our promo date this year is fridays but we just don't know we do we don't know if it's gonna drop could they mention it in today's stream possibly might they have maybe but they might hold out on it because you never know if the real draft gets delayed and they want to delay it till like late april and then they they, they probably feel stupid they dropped the whole path of the draft promo super early and it's not usable which i don't agree with because the beginning of pats of the draft is going to be a bunch of players that were drafted in the past so it's really not doesn't affect anything else but they probably want to keep it on a certain schedule keep the coding open for a certain schedule time rather than go ahead and drop two separate promos in my opinion they should still drop it could be pretty cool we could get some pretty nice guys even like if they don't want to go well they have to go ultimate legend vic but they could always do like an early round master vic they could do early round master robert griffin the third you know he's a golden ticket so i don't really care what they do at this point but there's so many good opportunities for late players early players it would just be super fun now let's head over to the color smash promo which is the easter promo as you guys know that's what it was called last year it was tie-dye based that was like the theme congrats on smashing away to tie-dye master color smash offensive master that was very that was a tongue twister so yeah last year the offensive master was melvin gordon defense was jj watt now melvin gordon right now would be very similar to saquon barkley chemmed up and powered up he gets like a 99 speed like saquon 98 excelish depending on what you put on him like a little worse than saquon actually agility 99 99 carry 82 catching 99 elusiveness mid mid tier truck and a 99 break tackle he'd literally be a saquon barkley replica which is kind of sad that's a over, that's a overpowered saquon barkley these guys just so you guys know jj these cards weren't considered that even great at the time either jj watt was considered decent not many people wanted him either he looks very similar to like very similar to ed too tall very similar in general the pass rushing with the block shedding in my opinion he looks great to me now but that was last year compared to cards this year he might not he might not have been that great and then obviously there was two of them i forgot why there was two i think it was like a nat version or you can get them from the solos or something oh or no one of these was like a set to make them like ltd i forgot what it was there was like some weird thing where one of them was like ltd in a set and one of them wasn't one of them was like the one you get from the set i forget how it works but one's tie-dye one's like a, a watered out tie-dye same thing with watt now coming on down aj green this this was a quick hitter promo guys that's what you have to understand too at this promo wasn't like a full-blown promo either it was just two masters and a bunch of decent 97s the path to the draft felt a lot longer felt a lot more uh, in bulk in my opinion this promo was a quick hitter last year wasn't too like huge there was a there was a house rules for one of them free i believe one of the 97s for free as well as a solo for maybe something for free but what they could do potentially to make this a lot better would be in my opinion to go ahead and make it a full-blown promo with a currency and a currency by that i mean like they could add like easter eggs they could add uh, tie-dye they could add rabbits anything they want to do make it a currency make a reroll set add solos and if they want to make it super fun guys it's easter promo which i think they have done in the past do an easter egg hunt now how would an easter egg hunt work guys pretty simple the easter egg hunt would work similar to how christmas presents work where you pull the presents there's clues and secrets on them that you have to decipher and it gets free players so for instance you open packs you pull an egg the egg now has it's blue base egg just means a pro pack then there's a blue with stripes all pro pack then there's a blue then there's like a, a red and gold or a, re a red and blue with a texans logo on it could be jj Watt, could be deshaun watson could be a past one could be a new one and there's like a secret rag that says like one out of ten you pull that one that's the golden egg and the golden egg gives you a golden ticket one, one random golden ticket player that comes out that'd be that'd be awesome like that'd be so cool the golden egg hunt there could be so much fun stuff with this if ea just goes ahead and tries like 10 golden tickets won't kill their won't kill their pockets and it'll make everyone want to open packs it'll be a good money thing for them in my opinion but for us it'll be fun just to see maybe we can get one maybe people have a chance at a free golden ticket potentially could be super fun but guys i really hope they take a route like this this could be super super fun if they do something like this but as you guys see the cards were pretty decent last year derwin james was a rookie premier last year although we are past the rookie premier date so they might give us some rookie premier players in here like nick bosa and stuff but i don't think they will get they, they won't get upgrades i mean not that i don't think they won't they're past the date it says on the back of the card we got sheriff dodson roethlisberger miles jack and it, it progressively went down to 94 trey turner Charles Clay, Robert Foster, Amukamara, and Jack Conklin. And it just went down a little bit more all the way until we got to like 88 and stuff. Like a typical promo. Very typical. Neither one was bad. My favorite thought of the two, probably Pats of the Draft. It's really fun to play with actual real life 
drafted players. Like, if you get the... By the way, I don't know if I mentioned this. There were, there were draft pick collectibles last year for Pats of the Draft. And pretty much, if you pulled a certain amount of them, you could use them to get the player that got drafted at that pick. So, if you open packs and you pulled the first overall pick collectible, if you got like 30 of those, you put them into the set, maybe even more. If you collected all 30 and you put them into the set, you were guaranteed a Nat version of the first overall pick. So, if that's Joe Burrow, you would get granted a 99 overall Joe Burrow. And as the picks got higher, they got more frequent. So, like, pick 32 was a very easy pull. You would just get a ton of those. Let's say you put 90 of those in, you got the free 30 second pick and so on and so forth it was a very cool system so that could mean that it would just be super fun you're gonna play with joe burrow chase young simmons maybe tua and a few other guys in there whoever's drafted in the first round of course but guys that pretty much wraps up this Let's get back to the man screen okay so that is about it for the video hope you guys did enjoy today's video i'm super excited for both like i said probably more excited for the path to the draft promo overall they're both fun in my opinion both promos are fun they're both great if they do okay first of all if they do color smash like I, i'm like i said like my idea with the easter eggs and golden egg and stuff guys that will be probably one of the best promos all year in my opinion if they do golden eggs and stuff like that but if they keep it simple like they did last year quick hitter promo with some cards i'll probably end up enjoying in my opinion more than likely the path to the draft just a little bit more but both will be fun like i said as far as dates easter should be dropping within about two weeks max and then path to the draft should be this week but they could push that back so we all have to wait but this just kind of covered what to expect how to prepare, kind of like what, what what's coming out, just trying to show you guys everything. But that is about it for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, make sure you're down below. Hit that subscribe button. Turn that notification bell, boys. Come join the family. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. And comment down below if you need any help with anything. I'm out. Peace.